Doing what you say you're going to do is so important. And this is why. This is doing and then not doing. If you say, okay, I'm going to work out, I'm going to start working out and I'm going to get fitter. If you don't do that, if you say it and then you don't do it, you're building up evidence here in the not doing. And the not doing is then being associated with who you are. If you say you're going to work out and then you don't work out, that adds a negative to who you're trying to be. So if you want to be somebody that works out and then you don't work out, that has a negative impact on that vision or that version of yourself that you believe that you are or you can be because you're not acting in alignment with what you're saying you're doing. If you start to do those things and the numbers stack up here and get taken away from here, that is then who you are becoming because you're proving it with evidence because you're physically actioning it and you're physically doing it. So every time you say you're going to do something, if you don't follow through and do that thing, you're proving to yourself that you're not that person. Whereas if you do follow through and do that thing, you're proving to yourself you are that person. So the question you need to ask yourself is, so if I am this fit and healthy person, what is that fit and healthy person doing? Is it doing the workouts or is it not doing the workouts? Is it stacking up evidence and proving that they are this person? Or is it not stacking up evidence and proving that you're not that person? This is why it's so important to do the things you say you're going to do. So, for example, if, if you're starting your journey and you say, oh, I'm going to work out seven days a week, I'm going to be this person, I'm going to do this. Do you realistically think you're going to be able to work out seven days a week from, from doing nothing to going to seven days a week? Start small and start slowly. It's a, it's a journey of progress. It's a journey. It's a long journey that takes slow progress. Don't jump in and be like, oh, I'm going to do seven workouts and then do two workouts. And, and then miss five workouts because if you jump in and say, I want to make change, I want to make change. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working out seven days a week. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven days a week. Okay. That's, that's what I'm going to do. That's who I'm going to become. I'm going to start working out seven days a week. But then what actually happens is because you're currently, you're not working out one day a week. So what happens is you, you start off motivated and you do two days and then it's like, oh, Okay, I'm not so motivated anymore. So this is the evidence of not doing. Even though you've done two, you're not doing five. So you're stacking up more evidence in this not doing area. So what you need to do is scrap the seven days and say, right, this week, I'm just going to work out once a week. Okay, and then you're doing what you're saying you're doing. You're doing one workout a week. Wow, that's progress. Okay, so when this becomes a habit, okay, let's try three workouts a week. Slow progress by making sure you're actioning what you're doing. And start small, start slow, because that's where you can build the evidence. If you go all in and you go, oh, I'm going to just completely change from what I am to what I want to be, it doesn't work like that. You need to start small and enjoy the slow and long road. It's so important to build that evidence.